Founded in 1999, Gameloft is an international publisher of mobile and PC games. The company has partnerships with numerous companies and personalities such as Ubisoft, Universal Pictures, Viacom, Sony, and Paris Hilton, among others, collaborating with various mobile operators worldwide. Gameloft has become a specialized online store distributing games to over 75 countries. Gameloft has offices in the United States, Brazil, Canada, France, Mexico, England, Germany, Italy, Spain, India, South Korea, Hong Kong, China, Japan, Argentina, and South Africa. Gameloft's games are distributed in 170 countries, with marketing teams present in 16 nations. The company operates seven major development centers in the United States, Canada, Romania, France, China, Japan, Vietnam, and India. Gameloft boasts the largest development capacity in the industry, supporting over 800 mobile devices. However, in 2018, the New Orleans Development Center was closed, resulting in the dismissal of 40 employees. Gameloft has Modern Combat 5 Inches paid version were released. Since then, Gameloft's productions have disappointed both players and investors. In the past, Gameloft produced high-quality premium games, reminiscent of console games in a portable form. However, the trend changed drastically after 2014. Plans leaked for the years 2016, 2017, and 2018, creating high expectations, but unfortunately, those expectations were far from met. Disastrous releases like Gangstar New Orleans and Dead Rivals marked a turning point. Gangstar New Orleans suffered from repetitive missions, lack of a compelling storyline, and compatibility issues with mid-range devices of that time. Dead Rivals, formerly known as The Dying World, had a promising premise. But Gameloft abandoned the game, and it was overshadowed by its competitor, Life After, developed by NetEase. Meanwhile, some good games like Asphalt Extreme, N, O, V, A Legacy, and Asphalt 9 were released although they didn't generate substantial revenue. Yet, the excessive monetization in games released from 2016 onward became apparent. Between the leaked plans in 2016 and 2019, Gameloft underwent a transformation. The Vendi's interest in acquiring Gameloft existed since 2015, and in early 2016, the European conglomerate initiated its acquisition plans. The takeover was anything but friendly. There were no pat-on-the-back moments or smiles. Michel Guillemet, Gameloft's founder, was dismissed, along with the entire company leadership. A new board, voted in by Vivendi shareholders, took over. It seemed the new direction had one primary objective, increase profits and maximize franchise exploitation. New game development took a back seat, to add to the already unfriendly atmosphere within Gameloft. The company's recent hardcore titles did not meet the expected success. Modern Combat Versus was a resounding failure and Asphalt 9 required significant investments in the sports sector, an area where modern combat versus had also failed. In response, the company shifted its focus towards games aimed at children. This strategy indeed helped Gameloft achieve significant success in 2016 and 2017. However, it appears that profits will start to decline, as evident from 2018. Currently, Gameloft does not have any major titles in the short term. The company's social media channels are promoting hype around children's games like Disney Magic, Kingdoms, a Lego game, and Disney Wonderful Worlds. The lingering question is this, is Gameloft abandoning hardcore games? As time goes on, it seems so. Gameloft might become another glue, it's not the end, but it's certainly not the position one of the most important companies in the industry deserves to be in. Gameloft was supposed to be competing side by side with Tencent and NetEase games companies that are already making billions in profits, while Gameloft remains in the millions. It's disheartening to see our beloved Gameloft resorting to recycling old games and trying to profit maximally from dated ideas. If that's the case, why not put their older titles on Wapshop? It would be a good way to keep alive what Gameloft used to be.